Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com with a Forex quick look. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone by taking a look at two of the major currency pairs, the Aussie versus U.S. dollar and the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is moving higher after the University of Michigan sentiment index came in weaker, but the inflation components of those indices of, of that uh, uh, measure came in higher. Uh, that has uh, yields moving higher, also the dollar moving higher. So let's take a look at those two currency pairs from a technical perspective, see what the price action has done to that view. I'm going to start by taking a look at the hourly chart of the Aussie versus US dollar. And there, there, uh, there's a key level in play, One, uh, and that level is the 100-hour moving average. Uh, as you can see in the Asian session today, the price moved down to that 100-hour moving average, found, found willing buyers against that level, forced the price back to the upside. And off of that University of Michigan data, the price then moved back to the downside, making new lows. And in the process, we did dip, break below that 100-hour moving average, but we're seeing a modest bounce back above that level the 100-hour moving average comes in at 0 0.6598. The current price trade at 0 0.6601. So if the price were to move back below that 100-hour moving average that and stay below that level, that would increase the bearish bias and have traders looking down uh, probably toward this level right here. This level uh, corresponds with different swing highs and swing lows. It comes in at 0 0.6585. And if you go back in time, there was a swing high right through right here. Then it became another swing high right here and right here before uh, breaking above that level. Uh, the level then became a support level through here before breaking below the level and then became another ceiling level right here before again breaking to the upside and trading yesterday. So needless to say, this level right here at 0 0.6585 has a history of being either a support or resistance level for the uh, Aussie versus US dollar. If we break, break below the 100 hour moving average and stay below that level, that would be the next key target on the downside, followed then by the two moving averages, including the 100-day moving average and the 200-hour moving average, which are near converged at 0.6572-ish type area. So be aware of that progression. Conversely, if the price were to hold this 100-hour moving average, start to move back to the upside, you see this 50% retracement level? Well, it was a earlier uh, swing high right here. We did break above it on two separate occasions, one yet yesterday and in the early Asian session, and two later in the New York session when when Things were looking a little bit better before the University of Michigan. Uh, so that 50% comes in at 0 0.66159. Where does it go back to? Well, if I go to the four-hour chart and take a look at uh, the move down from this high, this is the end of December high to the low that we saw in April. The 50% comes in at 0 0.66159. Now, admittedly, the price has traded above and below that level. And, and in fact, this is swing area, this highs for this week and last week, uh, is another key level on the top side that if the 50% is broken, uh, that would become another key target. That ceiling, you see it high here, high here, high here, all these highs. Through here come between between that level so be aware of that level on the top side as well uh, for the Aussie versus US dollar but uh, for now now uh, the uh, sellers are uh, trying to take control but they need to get below the 100 hour moving average to keep, keep and increase control to the downside for the Aussie versus US dollar next let's uh, take a look at the New Zealand versus US dollar and uh, for this uh, currency pair I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off by taking a look at the hourly chart and if we look at this hourly chart here, uh, what do we notice? Well, uh, just like the Aussie versus US dollar, it's testing its 100 hour moving average. That 100 hour moving average comes in at 0 0.60077. And as you can see, the price pretty much bounced off of that level currently traded just above it at 0 0.60125. Uh, so uh, if it going forward, if the price were to move below that level, we'd have traders looking toward the 38.2% retracement at 0 0.5990 uh, earlier this week. and uh, the uh, price did find support buyers against that level. So it has some history. Uh, if we break below that level, it opened the door toward the 200-hour uh, moving average coming at 0 0.59766. Now, where does this 38.2% uh, retracement uh, originate from? Well, if I go to the four-hour chart and take a look at this double, these double highs right here and look at the trend move to the downside through here, that 38.2 comes it comes in again at that 0 0.59905 level. So uh, getting below that level would certainly increase the bearish bias and have traders looking down toward these other moving averages on a break below that level. PS on the top side, the 200-hour uh, uh, day moving average up here is a significant uh, level that uh, did pr did a pretty good job of holding resistance not only this week but also uh, last week. This is the employment day. The price moved above that 200-day moving average only to rotate back to the downside fairly quickly. So uh, the, uh, going forward, that 200-day moving average is going to be a key level on the top side if the buyers should re-enter the market. So there, there you go. Two for one, the Aussie versus US dollar and the New Zealand versus US dollar. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.